the honeymoon was over before Erin Everett and her live-in fiance, Tori Minnick, even got married. And their nine-month relationship had deteriorated so badly that Erin was reportedly showing signs of being physically abused by Tori. She had a black eye, bloody lip one time. She had the bruises on her back. She actually had to go to the doctor for that. Erin's mother, Patricia, actually witnessed something alarming in the basement room of her Jerome, Pennsylvania home where the two young lovers lived. Tori had Erin in a chokehold. But they told Patricia they were just fooling around. And I didn't think anything about it because Erin had never said anything to me about the abuse. Tori had also been spending weekends away from Erin, visiting family and friends in her nearby hometown of Myersdale, Pennsylvania. Among them, 24-year-old Cody Donaldson, the fiance Tori had broken up with before meeting Erin. They knew each other since kindergarten. Judy Ellish of the local newspaper, The Daily American, says they had an on-again, off-again romance that lasted through high school and right up to the time of their engagement. And they would argue, and they were both were bullheaded. But now, they were on again, with Cody reportedly wanting Aaron out of the picture. He didn't want them to be together, and he didn't want Tori to be in a lesbian relationship. He wanted her to be with him. Aaron's mom says a furious Cody once even stormed into the nursing home where the two nurses worked. Cody showed up one night and uh, threatened Aaron to stay away from Tori. But Tori is said to have wanted the best of both worlds. So Tori was living a double life. She was with Aaron when she was in Jerome, and when she would go home to Myersdale, she was with Cody. Now, her secret lover. And uh, apparently kept it quiet from Aaron. And then it happened. A brutal attack leaving Tori lying dead in the basement room she shared with Aaron from two gunshot wounds to her head. Her skull had also been bashed in with a claw hammer. The crime scene was very bloody and very violent. She was totally naked. She had a, a sheet or blanket covering the top of her head, blood all over the bed. Erin's mother had gotten a frantic phone call from her daughter and rushed home to find her sitting in blood-stained clothes, hysterical beside her lover's body. Erin had blood all over her, and they weren't sure if it was her blood or whose blood it was. Erin was just crying and saying, why did they take her from me? Why did they take her from me? Erin would tell her mother, as well as police at the crime scene, that an intruder had broken into the house while she and Tori were both sleeping. It was a male, and he had a black mask, and he had a hammer. And he was saying to Tori, you're coming with me, you're coming with me. And she was saying, no, no, no. And Erin said that she was trying to help, you know, to get this man away from Tori. Aaron said that uh, this man actually tried to tie her feet and hands together to get her away so that he could either hurt Tori or take Tori with him. She said, he said, I'll come for Tori, not for you. Before shooting and beating Tori to death. The nature of the murder, the gunshot wounds to the head and then the bludgeoning with a hammer, it indicates to at least me that this murder was emotionally charged. Aaron said she couldn't recognize the killer's face, but had an idea who it might be. She described a man that has the same physical appearance as Cody. Saying he fled in a green truck, just like Cody owned. So it all sort of pointed to Cody. Complete with motive. Aaron indicated that Cody was jealous of their relationship. Ultimately, that's what led to, to the investigators pinpointing Mr. Donaldson as a suspect in this murder. Cody was their prime suspect. And police had located and questioned him within hours of the murder. They took him in for questioning, and they were asking him all kinds of questions about where he was, you know, what he was doing, his relationship with Aaron, his relationship with Tori. But Cody vehemently denied killing Tori out of jealousy, 
telling investigators he didn't even know her relationship with Aaron was romantic. Cody Donaldson was led to believe that Aaron Everett was simply a roommate. We reached out to Cody, but he declined to be interviewed. Now detectives turn their attention to others who might have had a motive to kill Tori. You're not a killer, are you? Never no, I've never been The only thing I've ever killed is this. Next, police uncover a suspected fourth player in this deadly love triangle. We're investigating this homicide, right? <clears throat> if you have any knowledge of this, I need you to tell me that now. Why do you think he may have been involved in this? Because he didn't like her being with me. He knew that she was gay and he didn't like it. And he wanted her to move back in with him. 